Um, first, thank you so much, um, University of Chicago and the writing department for inviting me to come out here and then hooking me up with a second gig tomorrow, <laughs> which is cool. Um, and, and thank you so much to um, names are not going to be r right because I don't remember names very good, but Kelly and Anne and uh, I believe Tempest I met earlier today and Emily. Um, it's been really nice. You know, it's, it's been lovely. Thank you so much. Um, before I get into my reading, um, a friend of mine's asked me to acknowledge um, some people, uh, a, friend of, uh, a new friend of mine's from New Zealand. And I want to honor um, his request. Um, so I'd like to acknowledge um, the Hopewell Indians, the late Woodland Indians, the Chippewa, the Menominee, the Sauk, the Fox, the Winnebago, the Miami, the Ottawa and the Potawatomi who were the First Nations that surrounded Lake Michigan. Um, in addition to that, I'd like to add to that um, a lovely gentleman by the name of Jean-Baptiste um, Point, is that his name? Point du Sable, who um, is considered uh, the founder of Chicago. Um, um, and was the first non-indigenous settler in, hi, you're late. <laughs> Go sit down now. Siéntate ahora. Don't be like wandering, just sit down. <laughs> um, du Sable, who was, is considered the, the first non-indigenous settler in Chicago and is also considered the founder of Chicago. So with that, let's start with a, a Harlem poem. Groovy? Okay. So the name of the poem is called Dimelo, which means talk to me. So it's a call and response poem, it's cheesy. Um, but when you hear me say Dimelo, you say, Talk to me. So if I say dimelo, dimelo, dimelo. Here we go. Ooh. It's about that stuff. Stone, stiff, swallows of skirted meteors. The hash moaning over a metropolitan bento. From the gut, there's a low pulse, a strut that outswings the stressor. Its tastes, metaphors from Atlantis, figs from African sycamore. Dimelo. How high can the sweets meter become an unpolished folklore? Parker, a woman's locks coiled with silver threads, her skin cerulean. It's about that stuff. Cold, blazing, stiff swallows of skirted meteors. Your rhythm, a manador's rippling lullaby treading ashore. My cue is your escrow, tally ho, money jungle, char char Callaway. Under the, your thrust, there's a low pulse, a strut that outscats the stressor. Dímelo. Dímelo. Dímelo, dímelo. Pastor slept on a cold train and woke up on an uproar. The clanging conch whistle when the dolphins erect the juke. 
That bass line stiff whistling lets us swallow youngins for meters. Hella fits of taunt won't be aligned with a topaz utopia. Count your bassinets, your lonely monks, your oceans of jive mojo. From the band, there's a low pulse, a strut that outstress the stressor. Dimelo, Dimelo, Dimelo. A piccolo like you can be as sweet as sap from Himalayan Tupelo. It's about some cool, stiff milk of a gigolo replacing a media in the streets there's a low pulse a strut a bead of boppers out swinging the oppressor dimelo Border Universe. Nyonka Chutarayani. Nyonka Kani Yuya Kapak de Una Sueño. I Nyonkan Chistianchi Chicha Kunapi Hatunch Aki. Kunan Porque Nyonka La Luna Urmanki Pantampa. Con Miraku Avalancha O Icha. Mi Putiauro Personalmente. Yaorani ch inyi, yao kaikuna e uspa. Kankuna suti yankichis, ikat kunain. Nian wai ronko pa kunan. Porque anchanku una futa sumak. Kankuna chao chikichis, chao chukuna machu piña. Nyonka yapani sisikunan upa, rira saupa e manka puka yokia. Que pa a orno, anta zaka kachi. Icha, nyon kanchis kan kanchis, sisikunant a kan richis kata pa verdad. Ika si wasi, kan kuya payanki para urpikuna. Icha, nyon kat urmani pantampa o chuchuni e una zaka orhia. Ia, Icha, un remedio naupa. I lie. I am a noble liar from a dream. And we live in a large dry labyrinth. Right now, because of me, the moon falls over the edge with my husky avalanche or perhaps my sharp pointed personality. I burn tiny witches to ash. You all nickname my flowers neon bot flies because they illuminate a gorgeous night. You all shake, dress like old wrathful beggars. I add silly fat ants into a pot, break all bounds subsequent to baking dense salt bread. Perhaps we will roast my ants, spill the muddy truth in my vacant home. You feel sorry for doves. Perhaps I will fall over the edge or slide silently into a dense orgy, perhaps an ancient remedy. April 18th. So a little backstory. April 18th is the birthday of Bob Kaufman, 
who um, uh, is considered um, a African-American surrealist poet um, from San Francisco. Uh, April 18th is also the birthday of Siri Cruz. You know who Siri Cruz is? Tom who? Tom, Tom Cruise's daughter. So I thought it was kind of cute. Yes. Uh, 1925. April 18th. Persian princess. Oh, Indian beauty passion queen, there's nothing wrong with Hebrew. Blame it on me, me, dyslexia subsists mistily. Lingual alliterations expulsing nonetheless. Your birthright a name and renamed and claimed by the famed deranged. Rapturously to one knee and repeatedly professing. Your pops hop for mama, AKA Joey Potter. Sweet Toledo, no relation to Speedo. Vanilla Ohio pickpocket picket fence. Mama defends her fuss bucket incarnate weaned off a methadone. Narconon, waving zealots, belly flop with the stars. Daddy ate mama's placenta, you know that. Daddy bought an ultrasound. Dr. Thomas Zaw made daddy do it. Mama disappeared for 14 days. They were planning for you on the 15th. And your mama kind of loves the press. And then daddy made your mama shut her mouth. For in the silence of silent Scientology monsoons, you inspire, oh, so quiet, oh, so still solitude. Your birth a most silent one, and that dyslexia got to subsisting again. Where are you, Suri? And what about that fringe on top, you mini microbe of a biork? Though few join the original movement to liberate your mama, held by forces they may never understand. Your name is still wonderful. Oh, Suri, you walk among the underdogs along the Suribachi. Suri, you're a pastel band of Ethiopian stick fight with coolies in Trinidad. Suri, who surrenders to animated lemurs and dinosaur movies. You tipsy barbarian flowing over Salman Rushdie's historical universe. Suri. You rare breed of colors reading at a bookstore near Punjab, Surrey planning Pashtun trilogies with regards to sightings of Rhea. You mimic robust gummy grubs in the Amazon sucking lychee. Surrey, not to be found but discovered in a rare and precious alpaca dreadlock who swallows and spits the gelato of Aphrodite. Surrey, unheard yet unavailable yet available in mahogany. You run Roselle tonight at the Carnegie Mellon, Zuri. The homogenous, you freshen ethanomes. You're interested in the way people formulate propositions. You'll visit Pittsburgh as part of a mathematics symposium. You'll attain new heights of excellence. Your exceptional silky helmet and wondrous luster, the finest for making top quality ladies coats. Ah, Zuri. You actually exist. You do exist. Truly you do. Truly you do. Cucumber, written in several different languages um, that I will not translate. Te llama la picaque, loli tu eres ona ona nun nalu. Cuando un asutaro dagba en una luminas ajanaku. Ana kanao he ese laisi sus serena de pu ugapu. Lucito a wupo hike o so. Pautesba nakuru. Que tanja iglu flirtatious korea. Te llamo pika que loli tu eres ona ona nuina lu. Ana ta shao sangre fria toro a nue nue. Nunca en. Mesu inu. Le inkinta flitie yo se cantaba yis canaloa. Quien? Canoje que ese la si su serena de pu u capu. Cane. Ella vira tan como treños un ujolo wo enu. 
Quando o tráfico a queima su não vai ou de isto tá? Te llama pica que loli tu eres ona ona nina nu. Tan. Wakari ni kui. Respugada. Jao. Malo viloso le pupu. Tan no que el mano tu puji ta nai i yurisita. Tu. Cano he se la si sus. Serena de pua capu. Toro, que mushi amapa. Kakimono en ulal. E lu au. Me que aloha paole una quebra capeca e conga. Te llama pica que loli tu eres ona ona nina lu. Y yo sé que ne oje es el asisus serena de pua capu. Um, I'm going to read some new poems. Um, and two new poems that have to do with house music. Um, because um, I like to dance. Um, and it's been a recent cur uh, thing for me to want to revisit these things. Hello. How you doing? Okay. What's your name? Christian. I'm, uh, part of the bar Christian? Trayvon. Hey, Trayvon. How y'all doing? Good. Just have a seat. So, um, so two new poems. Night crawlers push the feeling on the dub of doom. Here we are again. Your disco birdcage, shift change. A die above the Jerseyites. You really can't stand them. Your bestie got a tickle for Italians. Alvaro crowns her little Naomi. Eso. Where you study to close your eyes. This is how you oscillate your locks. This is called freaking the two-step. The red, gold, and green braided belt is a hula hoop. This is where your neck and head communicate and prepare for the head banging. Not all hardcore motherfuckers are equal. Not all punks can be shared with what you have here. Princess flicks his weave. A dutty before a dutty, a holidays before you know bomba. Faggots are the original head bangers. They made you the woman you are. Fingers ink, mystery of love. The first three notes, brick and cowrie waist shaker. A synth seconds later, either her hips goes that way or the feet will get caught up in the scribbling. If she raises her arms exceeding her head, she get dizzy. It's why her feet move so hard, why she slant against the pole, way and why her back is up against another whose back is outsider. Stranger hands finger latch to keep pace. A drunk tilt is a gesture. They collapse in a signature intonation, intonation, deep red house currency. Watch these giving legs soar. Levitated bodies duplicate fever. The man handles her shoulders like oars. Consensual mount, even breath solicits sink. All demons who exercise the rafters become smoke. Zanzibar smite, spice from poor. Arrangement offers a moment of reserve. The social dance become the social dance between unspecified muscle. Revel soft ache just to be led. Their only thoughts submit to bass and voice and echo. The claps are meant to step out of the mantra. How the keys trip up slave traders. Sunspot. Flincing the bounce the clap cheeks make. Boys are adored too easily. 
or perhaps the treasure trove we deem invoked by twerk. Love offering, booty without arcane clues, romp if comes, romp could be scrolls the pirates desire, buried in the crease of flesh, or even thoroughbred mouth by knees that meet upon instruction in beat. Who discovers the loot? Cheap stilettos draw blood. Are we penores of lace fronts? Are muskets black thighs? We perspire into a foray enough to erect and reward. In 15 cubits resides our platinum peekaboo chest. The glare, a sunspot adorn for just a night of presence. Is there any water over there? Thank you. All right. This one requires water. <clears throat> Daggering kanji. Kamu? Kis? Are? Amakazi. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Zoo? Lolo. Auna, Bob, Ali, Ulislap, Buki, Mula, Ulala, 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 Grill, Osha, Kolohe, Inkajau, Unan, Kinky, Arma, Ozdo, Ola, Tit Kitty, Nappy, King, Kudos, Nachi, Klutzy, Woni, Ola, 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 Lala Awi Awanya Kawo Mama Konga Kung Fu Kimchi Kiru Lala 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 Hello, we. He. Um, what? Kinia. Kanogeni. Kinetic. Anoheda. Bo. Um. 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 Oh, la la. Ooh la la, ooh la la, ooh la la. Autobiography of not a Blackfoot Indian chief based on a painting by Kehinde Wale. Realized his stick a carefully veiled spear. Chauffeur to no daisy. There on the frontier, Ebony is fearfully superior. He won't look the part. Are my instincts correct to call him a native son? No cinematic dandy. Those alpha tendencies build his posture. The heart whispers, you are who? 
The golden cord edges on bravado, Chris, vulnerable boy, say three times I am a man. Click kicks, so macho and crimson and denim, I a fly on Rococo, marvel the charade, keeping up appearances, and a spider, maybe daddy's only gift, a lumbe's pant. Cree tobacco pouch, not like his father's father. But can he survive playing real, said the spider to the fly. Who did they lynch on that broken branch? How recent the shooting, be ruffian, doed eye gangster, alien kaleidoscopic oil spill, swarm his hootie, looked absurdly at the aristocrat's fronts, a counterpart, twining the down low, in a clapboard house in Winston-Salem, beneath hoof, Galen is the peacock who conceals pain with stone-faced killer. Can I elevate these dim eyes, love the nostrils infinite flare? He is a local boy, his depth chant otherwise a gold-plated bit in his Mustang's jaws. Tiger of the Plains, say you tell me it's better as the savage noble. Mama destroyed all photos. The end connects Mardi Gras to an overzealous engine. Do resist circus hand signs up your ante. Leave them hypnotized. So I'm gonna read four more poems, if, if that's fine. So two will come from the book and two will be fairly new. And um, I, need, I've, I need to acknowledge uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Um, 21 represents the 21 students, I believe, that submitted their little packets of five poems five pages um, to um, for me to read and um, I want to acknowledge all of them um, because submitting is is tough submitting submitting is you know you kind of procrastinate for about a week or two weeks, depending on whatever, what is the deadline, to just get the guts to put together your five pages and submit it. And I really want to acknowledge that. Um, that it's, and, and even if you don't get selected, you still, you still champ, you still championed yourself by saying, I believe in my work enough to submit it. That I am worthy of being acknowledged. So I want to acknowledge them. So thank you. So the two poems. Um, who here's old enough to uh, remember UTFO? Nobody, wow. UTFO, Roxanne Shakte, Real Roxanne. Uh, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, am I really that old? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, so, so, but you know, spurred, you know, it spurred off of the UTF so, UTFO song, right? UTFO did Roxanne, Roxanne, okay. right? And then the rebuttal was the real Roxanne, Roxanne. or the Roxanne Chante, right? Yeah. So Roxanne Chante responded first, and then the real Roxanne was like, oh no, yes. I'm, I'm the, the real, real I'm the real Roxanne. So, and then, so, um, there's these, these two uh, individuals um, that I was really fixated on, um, Mr. Popo and Jinx. Mr. Popo is from um, um, Dragon Ball Z, right? And Jinx is from um, Pokemon. And uh, so two, two characters from two different anime series um, both of which are blackface characters. So, and because they ca caught some um, flack from a writer of children's books who wrote an essay about them, they got modified. Um, and 
the modifications were rather ridiculous because they kind of looked better as obviously blackface than modified um, characters, but they were funny. And I just thought, you know, what, what if, you know, Mr. Popo was UTFO and Jinx was either Roxanne Shante or the real Roxanne. So here's the first poem. Are you bored? Okay, all right. <laughs> You're deeply attentive? Okay, cool. You just have sleepy eyes. Okay, all right, it's all good. <laughs> Mr. Popo hollers at Jinx. In 2004, Viz began to downsize Mr. Popo's large lips digitally. Mr. Popo, in the order of genies to proceed from blue black to purple to pink, there was nothing less visible than this red tie of poise to smile. Lips disputed, disappearing, reappearing. Mr. Popo adjusted his turban of starch white. Mr. Popo was determined to prevent Cammy from tapping Jinx's ass before him. Mr. Popo said, oh, bodacious zarpet, how does the butterfly garden thrive for my big old cattle belly? An extra scoop, never too robust for my flying carpet. So crone, holla at me, Jinx, holla at me, Jinx, holla at me, Jinx, with some silver on the side. Let's fly away. Mr. Popo want that corn husky hair. Mr. Popo want that hibiscus round your neck. Mount me with your mammy tie-dye kimonos. Go, go, ganguru, manga mamacita, is it to my dizza. Blessed be your bleach pastel purikurai kitai so that we both know your tan from Shibuya, right? Now is your booty valley honey or Janet Jackson? Is you is that face of flattery in Kurugari or is you is my dark exception? Darky girl, would you get that cup size? Ain't no Koreans up in here that buoyant. Who's your smoochum daddy? Mr. Popo want Pikachu heated. Trust Sungaku can't land a punch. Mr. Popo can be your primitive ashtray. That's right, Jubilee. Wind your hips, shake it like a hoochie, bounce it, your mama chibi, dazzle your wag eyes, wave them Mickey gloves, my dragon balls, swing low for you proper. You give Mr. Popo nosebleeds. So that's Mr. Popo, right? So Jinx, she was kind of feeling that. She was like, all right, you got some gab, you got some gab, let's hook up, right? And then after they hooked up, in you know in in you know in the in as you know told in the Aaliyah song they Jinx realized she had issues he had issues and there was no way there was going to be a resolution um so yeah so she was just like you're a hot mess anyway so um Jinx who you calling a Jinx what you wearing on your head? What's that shit on your head? Good Lord, you make my eyeliner sweat, Pika twins. Peep this joint. I ain't feeling your vibe, easy breezy. No shogun coming from your tongue, Mr. Popo, Mr. Tom, you queasy. Where's your flying rug, homie? You my mama bored. My agent's going to reward nada. I shuffleboard smooches in the land of the rising sun's cosplay, papa. Regula coming straight on your stereo. Popa, why you tripping like I'm a no go? Popa, you so hella strange, Yu Gi Oh! What your ma said us butters up yet? I'll Tilburg to Finland all over her miffy, you butterfly gardening. I'll make you choke on a Ricola. What the fuck did they do to your lips? What they do to your lips? Turban, hammer, slacks, wearing pansy, get back to Aladdin's bottle. I battle laughable cannibals, I induce sleep with my memories, kiss attack, you feel me? Kate, Mr. Popo, I'm a thriller, rosy flappers for lips, the most obscene fish queen you ever seen, don't super flat map my color. I'm your yokai nigla, sibling lovely, with purple black flesh, supposedly offensive, make no difference in variation, check it, cross file, cross-pollination, watashi wazashu, mass circulation. Coco Jim wanna mock me, I got your kawaii kitties. Popo, here's your black mammy. Molten platinum crowd pleaser, destroying daisy cutters like legends of the over fiend skeezers. I'm causing adolescent seizures with my kage gamma rays. Hirujimos in my pocket, epileptics, I dare you to rock it. Muteki, Dianetics, you can't handle it. 
Hater eight bitches mock my February spin. My animated fade in the naughty smacking guy gin. Son, where's your brain damage coming from? Why Chris Kringle got an ocean liner north of the equator? Cookies and cream soap land souvenir. I polish it with my woman, no Brazil. You can't handle it. I'm the master puppeteer in my Gaiju dynasty, and you want to rob me in your tugboat? What you know about my ice flight? Wiggle till you figure how to Juku's thoughts. Don't front. You know I got you open. I swing my chariots low for a reason, son. So, so that is, that's Jinx. Jinx is, Jinx is a little bit more harder than um, Mr. Popo. Uh, I think he got his feelings hurt when, when, she, when, she, when she said all of that. Yes, the imagination. He said, he said poetry is not creative. <laughs> Just, it's just, I'm like, he didn't literally say that, but he said that. <laughs> it's Usher Pants. <laughs> Who's choking? <laughs> okay, so. Duck season, rabbit season. Um, this has to do with a lot of things, particularly um, things that happen all the time, but recently things that have become more and more public. Duck season, rabbit season, and by public I mean um, where you're hearing more and more commentary and the, the lovely advantages of social media and YouTube is that you, you get to see it played out in video a lot, um, thanks to smartphones. Uh, four quotes. Sometimes the exotic can be right in front of you. Kehinde Wale. In this photograph, you are lion-like, toothless, fraudulent. Jen Hoffa, wide-ranging, large carnivores like this bear are particularly vulnerable to becoming roadkill. Wikipedia, knock on wood, I've never seen a game warden, anonymous exotic animal dealer. Dia onti man sia tigre, alon teki igon, Da asutu a tigri kiri. Like an ill manila mosquito, yellow jacket bumbler taser justified pounce on the not again. Pleasantry a buffalo, antelope, and wildebeest. No persecution, plain clothes weave about chokeholds. Specter of an eye out of orbit. The hand of father reaches towards the heavenly chaplain for a Lucy. The traffic of street sport makes for call of duty a shielded hunger for warrants and arrests. Knock and announce such a handsome wonderkin how you carry yourself, how you exist. Oakland Panther Simba of Tulsa. You yield my quota, mighty Joe Young. The livestock auction shuts down online. The unbecoming conduct of a predator's reflects onto the caricature carriage homebound on platforms. Suspect black hide is by birth concealed arsenal, often claret. Dustus Sclera admits too much umber must never be mistaken for Bambi. When the hunter saw the jaguar, he ran for his gun and shot the jaguar dead. Jurisdiction on this isle with gender Marie Blue offers a weekend getaway far beyond ranches in Texas. Our sails on Rikers, you, my dearest gravy zebra, irresistible European badger, no hostile Congolese honey, fallen on enforced sword by the city of St. Louis. Christ, you are a remarkable creature, 
aging black rhino in a hoodie saintly you are bejeweled wallaby sometimes the gamers caravans doesn't want the meat they prefer to mount the head in mug shots oh if only i could stuff you you must lady a pequen fu luku bon fosse a ecoti strata abra in passage just a minor cabin incursion hazard tis easier to separate the head pummel a fist into a feminine version our mother becomes blue thuggy island make way for stray puppies to clean the ground insatiable mutts drink a crewer that is opulent and profound, they understand little difference between yours and a brush tail possum arresting brown boy lying in the unsullied cut grass, comply our canoodle pavement. You need to teach the child to look carefully before crossing the street. Last poem. Uh oh, hold on a second. Last poem, <laughs> Pigeon Toe. On the sake menu, no descriptive light, quiet and smooth, lean and firm, dry seam redundant, the comedic pause that carries so much in a tree letters. When the flesh breaks, arangi namu glema free itself to become sky misty on the temple. A strait of islands set against a hazel setting in a diwes, colopoyo. Morning is belated, afternoon where morning dove and starling sing their medley of five songs which scratch and nickel clouds. Showcase loose silver hoops. Aroha. The claws, carving tools, their beaks pick and sift gravel. It's said in a myth that the rooster was sent down from heaven to shape the earth, that the world was once our water, that the rooster no call out pokoko hua, what you create with yours out of wood, metal and lacquer, the descriptive begin again, dreamy, reka reka, ingari ia miere, ai, dry as practical, perhaps necessary for the lineage. The sky neither dust nor Honolulu azure. The sparrow medley now tree or two. The manner things arrive when the sun cracks the pastel smear. In the end, e takuhoa pumoro poroto. The hair gladly protests shampoo. E taku tamatane naro moke moke. In the end, Gochira get devoured by sand dollar. Thank you. Let's eat now. <laughs> what do we do now? What?
I just have fun. Um, I used to watch Pokemon. Um, I used to watch Pokemon. I used to be really into, um, I have to say, I mean, I was into Pokemon briefly, but um, I was slowly fading out of the Japanese anime because I was really into, um, I admit the like super hardcore um, anime movies, the ones that are really violent, like Legend of the o Overfiend, the original Vampire X, and yeah. So, like, I have all of those on VHS. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, we're reading that you did um, the first thing you did for the podcast was an American Girl book. Didn't understand anything that you were doing. Of course. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very fast. Thank you. Mm hmm. And goofy. Ah, that felt good. <laughs> <laughs> I just say, just go in, dive in. Mm -hmm. There's no wrong way to to enter it. I feel, yeah. Unless unless you unless you close it. <laughs> Was that a question about the discrepancy between you know it's life on the page versus? Yeah. Being so. Um, I think, I think, I think for most people, they're n they're not aware of <laughs> what's being assembled, and um, I think there's a hesitation at first, um, which is rather natural to look at it and say, "Well, I don't know what this is saying, so I'm 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 not going to engage." Which is, I and as I said, that's something that it's a natural inclination for, for you to say, I don't know what language that is. I'm, I'm not, <laughs> right? <laughs> and, um, and, and um, often my argument is, is, well, when, when you were young and, and many times when you're older, you come across a word in the English language that you might have never encountered in your five years or your 60 years. And then and you're, you have to sound out that word if you want to, you know, and often you, you go into mispronouncing the word, right? But because it's supposedly English, you engage it because it's English. And, and my argument is, enter it, dance. It's, you know, I'm, I'm not expecting the reader to have it right. I, I, don't, I don't think that I have it right all the time. So. None. I don't speak English. <laughs> I was about to say, when you opened up and you gave art to the women, then you went into the poem, did you learn the language from a native? 
Um, the, the first poem, Border Universe, um, yeah, I actually did, um, I studied that, that was Quechua, and I actually studied that with a professor at NYU. Um, I was not at NYU, I actually um, saw him out, um, and uh, I asked if I could sit in his class, and he agreed, and he told me, but the class is taught in Spanish. So, um, and he said, will you be okay? And I said, yeah, I'll be fine. He was like, but are you fluent in Spanish? And I said, no, I am not. And I said, but I'll be okay. Um, um, for the first 15 minutes in class, I was, and then 45 minutes later, my brain, my brain was just, I don't know, yogurt, um, um, because it had to do with um, relearning Spanish to understand the Quechua. So often I was in the back translating the Spanish to English so then I could translate the English to Quechua, whether, whereas most of the students were already fluent in Spanish, they could go from Spanish to Quechua I had to go from Spanish to English, then to Quechua. So it's a, it's a good, you know, you, you want to you wanna like leave and walk the streets in a daze? Do that. Yeah. Why Quechua? Um, why Quechua? Why not? Um, <laughs> mm hmm Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I was researching uh, this woman named Micaela Bastidas, um, who is the wife of um, Jose Gabriel um, Candoranqui, Candor Canqui. Um, the order is not right, but he's also known as Tupac Amaru, um, the second. And Tupac um, is known, Tupac Amaru II is known in history um, as the leader of the resistance movement that uh, happened in um, Peru, uh, largely in Cusco, around um, 1781. Um, that, um, it wasn't a successful movement, um, but it became the beginning, one of the one of the first indigenous resistance movements in Peruvian history. And my curiosity with Micaela uh, had to do with the fact that she was someone of indigenous and African ancestry, which um, most history books will not um, note her as being. Um, yet there are a handful of documents that do. And so when I went down, I went to Peru for six weeks to kind of find some more evidence of that. I ended up finding one more document. I think, I'm not sure if it's exactly true, but what um, I like about history is the fact that history is determined by a handful of people. And sometimes um, the, ima the imagination is inserted in documenting history. So uh, because there are no pictures of her, because there are no pictures of Tupac, because when uh, their resistance movement was folded and the Spanish crown ordered that um, that Tupac be killed, Micaela be killed, their children be killed, their brothers be killed. Um, even Antonio Oblitas, who was this um, mulatto, who um, was given the order by Tupac to kill this one um, uh, person in the parish, um, which rarely gets any acknowledgement of being a black person. Um, we don't know what these individuals looked like, right? So even in the Peruvian imagination, 
Tupac looks like this guy with this long black hair with the wind blowing, you know, and he's standing there rather stoic with, um, but we don't know what he looks like. So what does Micaela look like? You know, if she, is she mestiza? Is she just straight Spanish settler? Or is she indeed this woman of African and indigenous ancestry? Um, that's why I was down there. And it made sense to study Quechua um, before I went down there. I mean, when I went down there, the, 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 the focus of what I was interested in changed a bit. Because be, once, you go, once you go there, whatever you imagined your project is going to be, just, it's just like, nope, that's not it. Um, yeah, but that's the reason why. And also it made sense because at that time period, people would be speaking Quechua, right? And, um, and Quechua is not the only language of that, um, that landscape. That's only the only reason why we know of Quechua is because it was the it was the the people who conquered over another group of people in that area. Do you get what I'm saying? No, it's like it's a yeah yeah yeah. So um yeah. So that's why Quechua. I also like I also like that it has two clicks, yeah. right? Which, um, um, if you heard the clicking, you might think is Hausa from South Africa, but it's like no, it's South America. Hausa, I think I'm saying it wrong. Oh, oh, you gotta suck your tooth in the back. I can't. <laughs> Any other 